Okay, next up, it's the second of our women's singles matches as Karina Jorgensen takes on Rina's little sister, Iris Wang. Just waiting for the two players to emerge here onto uh, the court. Of course, uh, four courts, as you can probably see, uh, in action throughout these uh, round robin group stages. Three teams in each group. And uh, even though it is the best of five, all five matches are played, even if one side takes the opening three rubbers. Two teams from each group go through of these uh, group of threes before we get to the quarter-final stages. So Jorgensen against Iris Wang is our next matchup. And uh, one would expect this one to be a little tighter than the opening singles game. Yes, I think it will be. Uh, uh, Karina is uh, one of the upcoming players in, in Denmark, but uh, one thing that we will notice is that they are more even in uh, in height, uh, not very tall uh, players, w no Wang nor Jorgensen. Um, so Karina won't have won't have a, an easy task in scoring points. She doesn't have that strong attack, but uh, it's a very solid game. <laughs> Here they come. Wilkinson leading the way. There's Iris. 17, Karina. Indian born. 23 now, as you say, uh, one of the up and coming players. One of these matches, I think, where less power, maybe some longer rallies we might get to see here. Just about reach over the net. Yeah, we can see the players were a little bit unsure whether it was over the net or under the net that. Uh, we're going to say hello. There with the uh, batch umpire, Zheng Sangliang of China. Well, of course, the Karina Jorgensen sort of came on the uh, Babbitt's map when she won the European Juniors in uh, 2007. First time that had happened. Uh, for a while, as far as Denmark were concerned. She's up against uh, Iris Wang here, of course. Uh, four years the junior of her sister, Rina. And uh, three semis in Challenger events in 2012. And uh, she played pretty well yesterday, and especially in the first game against uh, Erika Hirose. Is there, uh, win-loss ratio this year, pretty even. 87th in those world rankings. Which is uh, 30 plus more than Karina Jorgensen is at number 51. Given the fact that she won those European juniors now, what, five years ago? What's the feeling in Denmark about how her games progressed? Well, um, I think there might be some people who'd expected a little bit more from her, but, but she's sort of uh, she's sort of raced uh, to number two in Denmark a little too quick because of uh, injuries to Nana Broselat, who uh, quit uh, top badminton two years ago, and also uh, Camilla Sorensen. So, um, so th th there was a gap there between um, the two players and and, uh, and the young ones, where where I count Jorgensen in as being one of the young ones still, um, quite inexperienced in, in bigger tournaments and uh, and 
tend to be a little bit nervous, so um, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge for uh, this game, but also uh, a great development. And if the U.S. are going to take uh, one of these matches, I think uh, this could be uh, the one that they have the best chance. So can Iris Wang cause an upset here? Get a point on the board for the United States. They lost all five matches to Japan yesterday. One down already here after Tina Bounds' victory over Arena Wang. Just wide with the attempted smash from Iris there. Game's already starting to develop its pattern, isn't it? Try and zoom in. Looks rather unmoved by it all. Yeah. There's no doubt both these players are going to work a bit harder than Tina Bound to score their points. A bit more clears in the game. time in this game. A big hole like this with a high service, there's really no need to put it that close to the lines. It's just wide as well. Seven, five. A slight advantage early on here for the American Iris One. isn't she Iris Wang? She moves around the court pretty well. Opening up a bit too early there, Jorgensen then got herself into trouble.
away that time. We thought it was going to be a lot tighter than the uh, the opening match, and it's proving to be the way so far. It's difficult, isn't it, when to, to trust the drift, isn't it? I mean, because it's it's starting as if it's going to go in, but you're right. I think it was going to drift wide there, and it's cost Jorgensen the point. It just shows that at least Jorgensen is not experienced in playing in big holes like this. If you're experienced, you know that you have to let it fall sometimes early in the match to to check if you're reading the drift correctly. Yeah, better than risking it 17 all. Exactly. So, at the interval, Jorgensen ahead, just. Also in the uh, coach of uh, Denmark, Keeping your eye on the shuttle all the way. It's really great pictures. in the splits there, isn't she? Great flexibility. It's a bad mistake, this one, because it was in the middle of the net and and even if it had gone over, uh, there wouldn't be much chance of winning the point, so... Another mistake on the side from Irish Wang, and... Seems like she's got difficulties controlling the win. That was good. Well, yesterday we saw uh, ten matches. And they were all fairly predictable, weren't they? Steen kind of knew which way they were going to go. There's a, a sense of unpredictability about this one. Yeah. points at the moment. Good smash here. Wang to the body.
another good rally from the American player. Yeah, and just in this final third of the game, just finding a little bit of an edge. Important, wasn't it? Important point for Jorgensen, and she got the lap when required. 14, 15. Great shot there. 15. That's 15 all. Could have been 16 13 for Wang, but now. Everything is completely open again. Oh, Been yeah. fairly good standard of badminton actually in the last three or four points. sort of senses that Jorgensen moves away from the net too quickly. Now, and we have parity once again. There. What was Pro the fault for? I think she probably touched the net. She did. Correct call. Hey! And it's getting points for the 17 year old from America, Iris Wang. Two of them as well. Sets up the opportunity. Oh, excellent! And Iris Wang takes the opening game in this second women's singles. It's the first game that America have won at this Uber Cup after the straight games defeats in every match against Japan yesterday how was your lip reading Steve? I'm not good this time I wasn't able to pick up anything I think must do better was probably amongst uh, some of it 
They were discussing uh, the shots from um, Rena Wang's, sorry, Iris Wang's uh, backhand side, um, where she'd been able to sort of keep the net a number of times. So now the plan is that when when uh, Jorgensen is playing the net, she has to to stay on the front court, and uh, and if Iris plays the net first, then just lift it away one, towards the baseline. So, is this going to be a little turn up for the books? Can Iris Wang take the scarf here of Karina Jorgensen in this second women's singles? I think it depends a lot on the beginning of this game. If Jorgensen can build a two or three point lead, I think she'll take this second game. She's taken the opening point. Oh, right on the line. Yeah. Love. Drift helped her out there. A little too close for my taste, but um, yeah, the drift helped her. Yesterday it would have gone wide, so the playing conditions have changed quite a bit. Oh, fabulous reactions. Quality shot as well, that's going to drift wide though. And we can see that uh, Jorgensen is not a natural attacking player. There's no chance that uh, Tina Baum would have missed a chance like that. I mean, she admits herself that she has to be patient. She's a defensive player. I mean, is there any way in which can be coached in her that to be more aggressive and be more positive I think we've actually seen her try to be a little bit more if not aggressive than controlling using uh, some uh, smashes not 100% not smashes and not very powerful but using smashes to sort of try to control the rally and and uh, being able to, to keep the initiative but it's also clear that she's not very experienced in that and perhaps a little bit uncertain on what to do She's had the start that you were calling for at the start of this second game. Taking the first five points here. Good response to uh, losing that opening game. too many of those shots. There. <laughs> if you just wonder whether they give it all, I mean, <laughs> didn't need to say anything, just watch that. Hit the tape and hustle to Jorgensen. Just 
seems much more confident in this uh, second game. You have to wonder why she wasn't in the first. Yeah, I, th I think it has to do with, with the nerves, uh, not knowing what's going to happen, how's this match going to be. But now in the second game, she's lost one, so just go out and play. You really got nothing to lose. Right on the line, that one from Iris Wang. That's her third point of the game. Frustrated now. She's only 17. Uh, the joy of taking the opening game. Frustration of being five points down in this. Nine, three. Stark contrast to the way the opening game began when it was only 11 10 at the interval. This time, Jorgensen very much in command. Instructions there from uh, the American coach, Chai Zimin. Well, I'm not quite sure, but I think that he he read that uh, Karina is uh, or Jorgensen. Um, she's always uh, lifting from the net here in, in the second game, and uh, he also wanted Irish Wang to smash a bit more. No, oh, no, 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 Perfectly for herself. Lots of concentration, didn't she? She was following so closely what happened to that one. Now the next couple of rallies are going to be really decisive. Can she shake that off? She still has a comfortable uh, seven-point lead. Should have been nine. Exactly. Ooh, that was close. Jorgensen has been able to cut down her amount of errors in this game. Good call. That was correct by the umpire. So she overruled? Yeah. It was given out, wasn't it, by the... Uh, Judge. Well played. Great to 
interception there. to get out of, out of her body, didn't she, Jorgensen? Rally. Hey! Well played by Irish Wang. Taking the control here. Yeah, an important point. I mean, she might not win the game, but it, it sets her up better frame of mind for the what should be the decisive game, of course, the third. Also gives her some idea on how can I actually score here. Too cute for that. Game points, oh, Wang and it means it's game points now for Karina Jorgensen. So they level it up at a game or and there we go. Into a third and decisive game we shall go. in that second game after that very tight opening game she certainly was the uh, superior in the second
Well, you think with an American coach, I'd be able to tell you what he's saying, but unfortunately, <laughs> on this occasion, uh, with uh, Chai Zimin there, uh, not speaking in English, I can't. But uh, what is uh, for sure is that it's a crucial game coming up. Chance for the Americans to get their first point on the board at this Yuba Cup. reacting really well to going a game down took those first five points in the second game now who can get their noses in front Final in this decisive third first point goes Denmark's way Jorgensen has committed that error. She left off here, Jorgensen, early stages. We will have the third match of Thomas Cup, Group C, Men's Single in Sports 2. Representing Malaysia, Mohamed Hafiz Hashim. Representing South Africa, Prakash Yachadan. Great play here from Jorgensen. Seems he's got the right strategy now. by March. I mean, Empire just talking to uh, Iris Wang. Nice. Really good shot. By the way, she looked back towards her coaches just to <laughs> Get confirmation that was a good shot. And again. Looks a different player to the player we saw in the first game. Yeah, totally different. and uh, Got a much better control in both the second and in the beginning here of the third game. Plenty of aggression as well for someone you know we were talking about before who was defensive just along with that one but you know she's certainly trying to take positive steps in what have been a, a negative beginning. trying to, to close the gap but don't three points again and it's probably enough to keep Jorgensen quite confident. Oh that was just touch 
wide from Jorgensen. We play a lot in the left hand side of course because it's considered quite safe regarding the side wind but no need to play that close to the lines. that gap iris wang here trading very early on making too many too many errors yeah I was just about to say exactly yeah. the same thing it's she needs to make Jorgensen work a little harder for her points and it's an uncrucial times where she's just about caught up and then letting the Dane draw away again She's got it back to two points again. Now can she keep this kind of solidity going until the break? Or is she going to throw in another unforced error? and then move forward you can control the game because both players are Five. picking up shortly Nine, ten. in the defensive game I haven't seen any long defense from any of the two players well, down to one point now One game all, ten, ten all. points all. I think actually Coach Chai from the United States must be really satisfied with this rally. I think it was just what he told Iris Wang. Uh, four points in a row come to an end and Karina Jorgensen is... Uh, lead but just by that single point Well, to play for then. Well, we could hear uh, that uh, Chai Simin was talking, but uh, wasn't really able to pick up on what he said. Well, point 
the break goes Jorgensen's way. She has a two-point advantage now in this decisive game. in the drift to take hold thought about it looked as if she might yeah, should I no I'll leave it and uh, it proved to be the wrong decision in the end already. Well, we haven't seen too many close encounters in matches so far in either the Thomas Cup or the Uber Cup. Yesterday Every match bar one finished 5 0. The one that didn't was the match between Netherlands and the Chinese Taipei, which the Netherlands pulled off with a 3 2 win. Otherwise, everything else was 5 0 to those that you'd expect to win. 15, 15. But here, with the Iris Wang now 15 13 up. A chance maybe to get it to 1 0 in this match between Denmark and America. This is going to have to dig deep again here. Yeah. She's certainly digging deep in this rally. Lovely shot. Brilliant. Excellent. Back against the wall she produced it. Some really good fabrics in there. It's a great rally from both sides. But really, really important for the Danish girl as her body language hadn't looked too good in the last two or three rallies, or rather between them. Hey! Hey! She was in a commanding position, wasn't she, in this final game? Just uh, the turning point I feel was just before the interval. She was 10 6 up. And she then lost those four points in her own. It's given Wang the belief again that she can maybe pull this off. rally again isn't it vital point vital point and Jorgensen wins it again well, she is giving it everything here for 17 years of age Iris Wang she was actually controlling this rally all the way through but I think that made it a little bit easier for uh, Jorgensen because she didn't have to take any decision she just had to try and retrieve it as good as possible so Perhaps giving a, a little bit more time to the Danish player to make her think, what stroke should I choose? That might be a good solution for Wang now. Well, both girls taking a little breather here. You can't blame them after the last couple of rallies. Been uh, all hearted. But, uh, here we go. The 
final furlong in the race. Stevens. Nice follow up here from Wang Jorgensen. Quite lucky at the net to get that over. points coming up now. Producing the goods. 19, Two points 17. now from victory. Well, you did say at the start of this game, Steen, if there was a chance for an upset, this maybe could be the match. from Jorgensen. Again, she's been able to produce one or two shots like that in some very important rallies. Otherwise, it would be match over by now. places between them in the world rankings. Jorgensen now really has got her back against the wall. One save. It was a bit too steep that one. And Iris Wang, the 17-year-old from California, has given the United States of America their first point in the 2012 Uber Cup. A thrilling three-game match. United States of America, 21-19, The pendulum swung one way, then the other. Wang taking that opening game, but you felt after the way that Jorgensen took the second game and started the third that the Dane would come through but Wang proved too strong in the end. Yeah and I think as you said before Richard the, the crucial point was at 10-6. Could have been 11-6 at the turn but Jorgensen wasn't able to capitalize on the lead. 
performance from Irish Wang we must be very satisfied to secure the first point for the United States. comes to an end and goes the United States of America's way. And this is how it looks now. Denmark won the United States of America.